Hey there, in case you missed my previous tutorial video where I showed you how to easily create amazing logos in just a few clicks using Design Hills Logo Maker, you can find the link in the description down below and at the end of this video. Now to start with today's lesson, I'll be showing you how to easily design creatives like posters, banners, brochures, headers, ads and promotional designs like Instagram stories and more in just a few clicks and in no time using Design Hill Studio. So make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications of upcoming videos. So Design Hill Studio is basically a free online website or tool similar to Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign and XD but much simpler and lets you create really cool graphic designs like these and this is a great tool for beginner designers and non-designers in general if you want to get something done really quickly. So first things first, let me go with www.designhill.com studio and click on try for free. Now next up, you're gonna have to create an account or sign in using Google or any other options. It takes about a minute and then you'll be taken to Design Hill Studio where first up you'll get a score of options of templates. You'll get uh, so many templates like a ID card, class schedule, letter, ticket template, logo, business card, uh, memo and so many more for you to choose from or you can simply uh, uh, enter your custom size that you need you can click on custom dimensions and click on width I'm gonna take the typical size of an A4 size page as 2480 by 3508 pixels and click on create new design it takes you to a new tab where you can see the canvas so a quick preview of all the menus we have on the left first off we have template where we can get all these uh, preset templates that we can use so if you like any you can use them or you can just uh, create one handle from scratch that I'm going to show you but I'm gonna just take one for example and click on it and it gets loaded up on the canvas so as you can see all these elements are separate and you can edit them, you can scale them up and down, change color and uh, rotate them, change the text and all these features. Next up is photos, the photos menu from where you can uh, search and insert photos and type uh, let's say cake. Yeah, it gives me results of all these cakes that I can use. I can just click on the photo that I like and it's gonna appear on the canvas like this. I can rotate it, I can scale it, I can move it around and then I get the option of flipping it to horizontal or vertical and I can crop it. And then I get the option of adjust. Um, typical options that you get in any uh, image editing software brightness, contrast and then you get filter where you get a, a bunch of different filters that you can use in case you feel like you need them and yeah that's about it next up we have elements from where we can basically choose different shapes like this all these shapes and we can change them crop them and scale them and rotate them and all that change the color and next up we have text where we can insert text boxes and yeah custom type text and edit them you can choose fonts and size colors and all that type topographic options next up we have upload options where we, from where we can upload images uh, i'm going to be using some for this tutorial so now I'm gonna open a new canvas to create a new design. I'm gonna go to File, click on Create New Design, and it reloads the page, and we have a new blank white canvas. So to start off, I'm gonna create something like a cover of a food menu. Um, so for that, I'm gonna start off with a colored background. For that, I'm gonna take a square shape. I'm gonna change the color to a dark color like this. I'm gonna scale it up so that it fills the entire canvas area next up I'm going to be using some images of food for that first I'll be using some background as border or outlines so I will start off with 
a white shape, change the shape, change, change the color to white, scale it down to something like this. Uh, yeah, looks good. Then I'm gonna click on uh, copy and it copies it. I'm gonna place it right beside it like this and copy it once more. And I'm gonna place this at the top. Like this, I'm gonna bring these two down a bit and a bit more close together. Once I like the position, I can then move on to inserting images. I'll go to photo and insert, uh, let's say, burger, and I get all these cool options and delicious images. Uh, this I'm gonna, I'm gonna use. Uh, I'll be using this and click on this and it comes up I'm gonna scale it so that it fits within the shape of the bar uh, outline that we just took the background images once that's look like that looks good I'm gonna click on crop and then crop it down so that it fits within that area it's good I'm gonna click on enter and next up uh, next image I'm gonna search let's say sandwich placement looks good next up I'm gonna move to my logo for the logo I want a white circular background shape I'm gonna take one change the color to white scale it down to something like this place it like this connecting all the three images and then I'm gonna go to upload click on upload an image and I'm gonna choose one of these logos that I download randomly from the internet once they're uploaded, I can click on them and they, they get loaded up. If you're on canvas, I can scale them down. And yep, that looks good. Next up, I'm gonna be taking the text. I'm gonna click both the text and add a heading. I'm gonna scale up the size of the tab, double click, and type food I'm gonna select the whole thing and change the color to white next up I'm gonna um, change the font I'm gonna font and from all fonts there's this drop down menu I'm gonna click on that and click on the class of font that I want I'm gonna choose handwritten and out of this options file options I'm gonna go with the first one looks good yep uh, scale it down scale it up about that much looks good food click on enter and then go back to text add another heading That's, that's not bad and the final thing is that I'm gonna insert a logo of food delivery that option go to upload an image I have another one downloaded click on that it appears on the canvas I can scale that down a bit and place it over here at the top right corner and I think this design is done so that's how simple the tool is once we're happy with the design you can click on save and once it's saved, you can click on download and it gives you all these three options. You can choose between JPEG, PNG, and PDF and choose between these and it gets downloaded. And that's it. So that's how you can use Design Hill Studio to create simple and cool looking designs in no time. So if you like the video, definitely use Design Hill Studio and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for my upcoming videos. Until next time, peace.